How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Satoshi Club video. Now, I wanted to start this off by just doing some blockchain use cases, right? Finding out a little bit of use cases for you guys sharing them, but I found something even better, which is this pretty cool page on IBM's website that I'm gonna link down below, where they're actually showcasing a lot of different use cases with videos if you wanna learn about it, with articles if you wanna learn about them. So this is really a one-stop shop for everything when it comes to blockchain. And if anyone of your friends, for example, is doubting blockchain technology, well, you can send them this link right here because there's uh, you know, no bigger credibility than IBM talking about all of these solutions. You know, let's say Renault Group, uh, you know, the car manufacturer from France, well, they're on the blockchain as well when it comes to their supply chain. Intellectual property, which is patents and stuff, also moving to the blockchain and advertising moving to the blockchain everything is going to move on the blockchain at some point in the future which is why i wanted to talk about my favorite three use cases from this list right here but first let's take a little glimpse at what these guys actually have going on so first of all a lot of different supply chain solutions healthcare solutions as well safeguarding the efficacy of life-saving medications with blockchains so for example keeping everything on record never losing patient records never losing trust between two different parties and doctors and patients and everything healthcare big industry cross industries as well when it comes to patents and intellectual protection of property so that's what i'm going to talk about in a minute or two manufacturing and supply chain as well banking financial markets media and advertising pretty cool as well for limiting the amount of wasted ad money that people are spending around the world because of you know fraud and all of this other stuff Banking, even more banking. Uh, insurance, big one. It's gonna be a big one in the future, especially when it comes to blockchain insurance companies. Supply chains directed to consumers, uh, government stuff, insurance, services. There is so many things that you're able to read on this uh, on this page, right? So I'm personally, after filming this video, I'm gonna go ahead and you know read one of these articles every single day, just to ramp up my knowledge to some other level when it comes to blockchain, all the use cases. So, you know, it's, a, it's really interesting to read about. And if you're reading about it right now, you're still light years ahead of a lot of other people out there that are not working on the blockchain quite yet. So, okay. Uh, yeah, as you can see, huge amount of blockchain use cases uh, in every single industry out there. But my favorite three are the following, right? So first of all, you have blockchain for advertising, the new black for media buying. Okay. And uh, basically what they're trying to say right here is that many dollars that are going to click fraud uh, are just being lost, right? So many of the ad spend dollars that companies are spending around the world are actually not going towards the ads, but they're simply being lost in programmatic ad buying. And if these you know, changes, these radical changes, movements onto the blockchain or whatever don't take place, fraud is gonna cost advertisers and their industry partners more than $50 billion by 2025. And yeah, that's why we need technologies such as the blockchain. So you're thinking, how does blockchain work when it comes to advertising? Well, it's pretty simple because it comes to the one main thing that blockchain is capable of, which is increased transparency. Everything is stored on the ledger, everything is stored on the blockchain, you cannot change the info, you cannot play with it, you cannot tamper with it. It is completely tamper-proof and immutable, as they like to say. But what's the point? Well, they want to reduce ad fraud with this. And with blockchain, all of these transaction records are cryptographically secured, linked together. You get an irreversible and auditable trail that can be used to confirm your ad dollars are not being wasted. Furthermore, blockchain also eliminates the need for a centralized party to oversee ad buying. So you don't need a lot of different middlemen, services, intermediaries. Instead, you just have an unobstructed view exactly where your money starts and where it ends on the blockchain. Now this new media ecosystem that will be created and the solution that IBM actually created is to simplify the whole media finance supply chain by connecting marketers, agencies, and suppliers on the exact same network. So all using blockchain. Pretty cool, leaving the link down in the description below in, if you wanna read a little bit more about it. Now, this was really cool as well, which is AI and blockchain helping discover and transact intellectual property. Now, IPWE creates the world's first blockchain powered patent platform, and they actually store a large number of the current patents in the world. I believe it's 80%, but we're gonna confirm that in a second. And basically intellectual property laws are 
crazy, right? It's very murky. It's very difficult for creators, for investors. Nobody knows which property is whose. And a lot of money is being wasted as a result of this, right? A lot of unclaimed intellectual property that could be claimed. And, you know, this money could be going to individual creators or, or whatever, right? So how do patents be traced back to the creator? In an ideal world, what would happen is everything would be on a single platform. So it didn't exist until 2019. Uh, you know, IBM actually created this IPWE or whatever, but patent ownership had to be tracked through heaps of different paperwork, millions of patents resulting in a great deal of money lost on all of these assets. But right now, uh, what the market lacked, what was transparency, efficiency, and uh, you know, this increased amount of human activity, huge amount of human activity, paperwork, all this stuff, it is all brought to be more efficient using the blockchain. So created the global patent registry powered by AI and blockchain, first in the world, right, from IBM. And IPWE has its own system with 80% of the world's patents on it. So that's already creating, you know, almost all of the world's patents are on this one ecosystem, which is first of all, really cool to know. But second of all, it just makes everything so much more efficient. And here's a little word for the CEO of IPWE. For companies, more often smaller ones relying on IP for value, they need help understanding what they own for the market to appreciate their asset potential. They don't have the ability to communicate it to third parties, which is the main problem. And with IPWE, it helps companies see what intellectual property they have versus what their competitors have. And IPWE estimates that $1 trillion dollars uh, USD in IP or intellectual property is never transacted upon because of all of the difficulty surrounding managing and evaluating the assets, right? Paperwork is dead. It's all going to be blockchain in the future. Now, the whole system completely lacks transparency. Transactions are kept a secret. And right now they are going to deliver on it with, you know, a lot of different stuff that you are able to read if you check the link in the description below. Now, lastly, I did, did mention Reno for a second or two. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the car industry, about supply chain and all of this stuff, obviously check the link down below. But th these are some really, really cool reads like, uh, okay, first of all, it's talking about a car crash. What happens after a car crashes? The mechanic that you go to has to get bolts, nuts, parts from some other part of the world. And all of this stuff causes, uh, first of all, transactional costs, second of all, transactional delays. And third of all, it's just hundreds of different parts from dozens of suppliers, all at different levels on the supply chain. So I don't, know if, I don't know if you know how supply chains work, but you have vertically integrated ones, horizontally integrated ones, different types of integration, different types of, uh, it's very, very complicated, right? And for the average car, right? There's not only safety standards, there's also environmental regulations, all of this stuff that needs to be tracked. Right. And it's difficult to track when everything is on a different platform. But if everything is on the blockchain, like this XC right here, it can do 500 transactions per second. And another fact is that average auto supply chain includes 30,000 parts per car from hundreds of different suppliers. So blockchain is there to help out. And the vice president of blockchain projects at the Renault Group said that an innovative platform like Xseed helps us all to be more reactive, robust and sustainable in compliance management. The future of the industry will be collaborative and cooperative. So they're hyping up the blockchain. And until recently, the only way to keep track of everything was to databases and paper trails. Inefficient, Renault Group moved the supply chain to the blockchain and invited the rest of the auto industry to join in. So they were the first movers, the, you know, the first ones that actually got it done, which is a very good thing. Now you are able to read a little bit more about how they invest invested in digital transformation, how they're using distributed ledger technology or DLT to share and track information across various users, uh, how they uh, verify all of these transactions, create a network of trust between parties that don't even know each other and make everything a lot more efficient. So blockchain, very efficient. Now, I think that's it for today's video. It's, uh, you know, if I, if I had the time, I would go through every single one of these articles for you and i may even do a few more in the future but i do recommend you check out the links in the description below drop a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel comment down below if you have any thoughts or questions for me and i'll see you all in the next video